What is going on, everyone? Commodore Lance here. Today brings us my live reaction to Eden Zero Manga Chapter 178. Now, the chapter has finally come out. It is a Tuesday morning. We are here today to read the latest installment in Hiro Mashima's up and coming new hit series. And the morning has started off on a fantastic note because we just got the confirmation from the official accounts for Eden Zero Season 2 is in production. Which means we are going to get Belly El Gore animated. The Dragon Joel Madness is going to be animated. We are going to get Eden's One and the Ziggy Insanity animated. And if I could be selfish, if I could ask, this is what I want season two to end on because we're going to go through two arcs of madness to relive in the anime. I need Red Cave animated to end the season, okay? That's what I need because we can't just jump into Forresta right after because that's going to be season three content afterwards. I really wanted to end on season two with Red Cave. If it happens, it happens, but listen, listen. We've experienced that greatness before in the manga. To see it animated, we eat man. So shout out to the anime for Eden Zero. Shout out to JC Style putting out a fantastic adaptation of season one and hopefully they continue that same energy going into season two. But we got to talk about the manga right now, man, because after the events of last week's chapter, the bloody Admiral Day's incident, like, I can't wait to see that happen. Like, I can't wait to see Dead and Crow. This guy is looking like he's going to be far more of a menace than Shura and DJ alone. Like, Joe, like we thought, was like completely a monster. He was a monster. He was all right. Shura was just sick in the head. But if Crow ends up being further than that... I mean, my God. I mean, if anyone's going to push the envelope, it's going to be Mashima. But then the whole stuff going on with Holly and what exactly her ether gear is. Because she said she's going to try and utilize uh, Shiki's powers for her own. But she has like something where she can literally melt people. I don't know if it's because like if you commit a sin, then you get eviscerated. Like, I don't, we'll have to figure it out from Holly, man. But them shots of her in the last chapter and everything? I mean, listen, she might have to melt me too. But right now, primary focus is what's going on with Labilla. Labila, I, I know what we have our pronunciations and stuff. I call her Labila, but I really am hoping that Rebecca just hits her with the anger of Mainu, like there's still value in life kind of thing. Because I mean, the time skip definitely messed up Labila, and what the exacts were that led to it, we'll, we'll probably have to learn soon. But if there's anyone that I hope can bring her away from the clutches of death, it's gonna be Rebecca. So. Let's see what's going on this week, man. Shout out to Azuki for buying chapters week in and week out doing God's work as they should be, man. So here we go. Chapter one. Oh, we're getting... Yo, hold on. I forgot about this. Yo, we're getting the color page this week. Oh, no, nah, it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yo, this, listen, this is what I love. This is what I love. When you don't know things at all going into stuff, goats. Oh, no, this is going to be a chapter. This is going to be a chapter, man. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. First is season two. Y'all know this is this is, this gotta be one. This gotta be one of them, man. This gotta be one of them chapters. May I speak with you alone, Rebecca? And listen, in color now, when you take into account what uh Rovilla and uh Rebecca are rocking, Mashima has no misses in his bag. His resume, his C V is spotless with Eden Zero. Alright? Spotless. And it remains as is. You see the look on Labilla's face, Rebecca. It's okay. Chapter 178, Rebecca and Labilla. Oh man. Yo, look at how clean Yo, oh come on, bro. The finger bite on the gloves. Nah, man. He is the one. He is the one, dude. Oh my god, no, nah, bro. Shiki Grand Bell greatness, dude. That right there, that's one of the Horacio. That is one of them, man. That is one of the Galactica right there, dude. Oh, my God. That is probably one of the cleanest fits I'm seeing right now. Look, maybe it's because I have my, I'm deep in my Man United feelings right now because of the fact that I could get Eric Ten Hag as the coach and stuff. But he's literally rocking the Ten Hag fit, at least when it comes to the suit. And that suit is absolutely gorded beyond belief. So the fact that Shiki rocking that... I mean, the implications of a United fan, I'll take it. But regardless, though, the bump boy is all you sparkling. Oh, man. Shout out to my MC, man. This is a fabulous double uh, spread 
in color, man. Like, absolutely gorgeous. All right. Oh, this is going to be one of them chapters. Here we go. So now I'm seeing from the distance over here. So Rebecca and Labilla, they completely move over after. So I'm probably going to for sure find out what it is that's uh, happening to the time skip that's leading to Labilla saying, you know, that she wants to say what she wants to say before she dies, which, nah, Rebecca, we got to say to her. So what did you need to say to me? And what's this about you dying? Dot, dot, dot. When a beekeeper says they're going to die, they mean they're going to retire, obviously. Oh, okay, so... Okay, so the, the worry's out. But now it's a matter of keeping the dream intact. Because for sure, Rebecca, knowing that they're rivals and how she doesn't, like, view her as an enemy or anything, it's like, I don't think she's going to watch her, uh, throw her dreams away like that. So, so that's probably going to be the difference uh, right now. So you guys have a question mark. Surely you notice that my channel isn't as influential as it once was. But it's not so bad that you have to retire, is it? Yeah, it is to me. Stagnation is as good as death. So I want to sell things before I die with you. And I'm not going to lie, man. As a YouTuber, I've seen many people state stuff like that where the stagnation ends up destroying them because they aren't able to grow further as a content creator, and that hurts. So, oh my god. You know, whenever Majima brought this into the consideration with the B-Cubers being like his like way of doing being like YouTubers, Twitch streamers, whatever maybe D Live, whatever it may be, man. Oh, eventually gonna hit something like this, man. Of course I'm gonna connect to it. Like why would I not connect to it? Settle things. Uh there never really was anything for us to I mean, I still have nowhere near the number of subscribers you do. I mean shout out to him for this panel right here, but we're in a serious moment right now, man. But we've had our feud, haven't we? Maybe in the past, but... Oh, please. Like, you're above all that just because you gained a few more subscribers. Have you forgotten all the things I've done to you? Yep, and there's just every single little moment and stuff. Well, he did give me a lot of grief. <laughs> yes. Now send that rage back at me. The camera is rolling. My dear Rebecca, and she comes in with the right-hand hook... Like, she went for the Dempsey roll, but Rebecca right there with the dodge said, uh-uh, not today. What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. By, by subtle things, you mean a fist fight? A cat fight between bikini-clad babes. What would be more photogenic? <laughs> what? Oh, man, listen, you gotta keep going. There's still value in the YouTube. Come on. Where do you keep coming up with these things? Never mind. Now, would you kindly fight back, please? I don't want to turn, I don't want to turn this into a bully video. And she's just sighing. Oh, but th nah, man. We can't let her, we can't live La Villa's dream in like this, man. Like for, for especially for content creators, man. You can you if you can try and like convince someone to keep on going because you enjoy something so much. Nah, Rebecca has to be the one to change that. I've done a lot of training in martial arts and ether gear fighting over the last three years. An average girl isn't going to stand a chance against me. Oh man, see that's the difference right now is that she's putting the work. She recognizes her strengths, but she's not going to hurt. But well. I guess I could play along with Labilla's idea for a little while. I'll throw a few fake punches to please the audience, and then I'll lose. So she goes in, she a swing, miss. What is that? You call that a punch? And she, yo, is she even a palm strike? Like one of these? Hold on, Labilla got hands. Wait a minute. Like eh, she busted. Eh? Goes in with a kick, kick to the head. No, she's been watching Pride. She's been watching Pride FC, man. Oh, she's been watching the Bass Rune tapes. Thud, and she Rebecca's the ground. Well, what just happened? You see, I never public I'm never I never public with this because it doesn't match my influencer persona. But I am an expert in the dancing sakura style of karate. So let me get hold on before I even go further. Before I even go further. Labilla can throw hands. How well? I mean, she's able to do that to Rebecca. What's the gap? We don't know. Can it increase and get better over time? Possibly. She is a B-cuber, right? Could she be uh, essential to helping out with Rebecca trying to find Mother? Possibly. If they reconcile, is it possible that they could be team? Possibly. Can they work together in the same faction? The little pieces are being thrown in, and I would not be upset if LaVilla joins the crew. If it works out well enough... 
from what's about to happen here, I will gladly take it because redemption arcs are some of my favorite stuff in storytelling and done right could be an excellent thing right here. So let's see. But the dancing Sakura style of Karate. I mean, listen, she's out here, man. Like, haha, for real? Okay, you got me. I surrender. Nope, and she, she went, yo. Hold on a sec. She's pulling out the London Dungeon. She went like Nigel McGuinness in Ring of Honor. She went like right for the arm and stuff like that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Mashima definitely is a pro wrestling fan because there ain't no way. She would have gone for like a normal arm bar. Everyone would have known. But nah, man. He's going for, for the London, uh, London Dungeon, man. Surely you must be dreaming, Miss Rebecca. Ow! This fight isn't over until one of us can no longer move. Come on, LaVilla. I give up. You win. So just stop. Once I've beaten you, I'll find your friend Hawk. Friend, you find your friend Hoppy and do the same thing to him. Oh no, nah, you no no no! You can't disrespect Hoppy. You can't disrespect him. Look at this, you get them. You need to give it a rest, Lavilla. As she just literally is standing up. Nah, nah, th now nah, this is physical strength right here. If you lay a finger on Happy, I will make you pay. That's the spirit, my dear Rebecca. And right away they go on at it. Throws a punch. Labilla comes back with a punch. They go for the Shibata headbutts right after. They are putting on a four-star classic. Not too... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Mashima. Hold on, Mashima. Hold on, Mashima. Seriously, all you ever do is pick on me and my friends. She went right for the bikini. I mean, listen, Mashima, you want to go ahead, go ahead. But uh, if, we, if, you want, if I'm going to take a risk by reading this, you better go through. <laughs> you better go through. Because it's so much fun, I just can't help myself. You've made a laughing stock for you made me a laughing stock for your entire career. A bottom tier B cuber should consider herself lucky to be singled out by such a big star. Oh my god. By scum who can only score views by insulting people. And she just like kicks like oh no, that's a UFC kick from the bottom right to the top. I give the public what they want. Maybe you should stop faking nice. Have you ever once considered people's feelings? You mock them for your own entertainment. Do you have any idea how humiliating, how painful, how sad it is to have those horrible experiences put on video and displayed for the whole world? As she just goes in front, just stops in her tracks. And I'll stare down. What did I ever do to you? Oh, man. Oh, get it, Rebecca. The dot, dot, dot. I'll tell you what you did. You started all of this. She's about to start crying. Seeing your video is what made me want to be a B-Cuber. Has it ever been said though who started first between her and Rebecca? Because that's a hell of a twist of soul. <sighs> I did not even consider that possibility. I figured at the very least, Lobilla had started way before. Because she had obviously more subscribers. So obviously it would mean in most cases she had more time. Wow. It's just like, what? Wow, I've always wanted to tell you that. Wow. She's like, she's lost it completely. What? Wait, Labilla. So they also they completely named the segue back now away from the fight and stuff. So I'm gonna talk about it. Yeah, that's actually crazy. So if Labilla actually started after Rebecca and she was inspired by that video, and that Casey, that even makes even her even more because it's like as a content creator, and I can only speak from that point of view and stuff, when you work with somebody, like you're getting into the whole process and stuff, and you meet that one person who's doing like really great work and you're inspired by them, and then you go and do like YouTube itself or Twitch, whatever. And then you end up not only surpassing them after, but then you also end up reminding yourself that once you're in that phase of stagnation, all that, that that person was your inspiration to getting into all that. Man, that's, I was, you know what? I was really not expecting that from the Bella. So shout out to Mashman for that, man. Cause that's actually really good to kind of see that side now from the Bella here. I mean, she still was wilding out a little bit, but at least now you can understand the frustrations and stuff with her, especially now in the current timeline. I was sick when I was a little girl. I spent a lot of time lying in a hospital bed. And one day I happened to turn on a B-Cube and see you in a video. Oh, man. 
Uh, nah, but listen, she needs to be part of the crew. That needs to be Rebecca's best friend. I'm sorry, that needs to be back. We're like, Shiki's her man's. That's a di- that's a different world. That's a different place and time. Like Shiki's her man's, but best friend, nah. It's it's gotta be these two, man. It's gotta be. Honestly, there was really nothing to like about the video, and the number of views was in the single digits. It made me think, why is she even doing this? Oh no, man. No, no, it's hitting me right in the soul. But well, seeing this girl, the same age as me, trying so hard, it stole my heart. And I realized I wanted to be like her. No, man. No, this is precious as hell. This is precious as hell. I was lucky. Even I was surprised at how successful I was as a B-Cuber. I was trying to be like you, but suddenly I was miles ahead of you. <laughs> I love her, Rebecca. She's just like, like, really? You really just gonna say that to me? Like, but, and this is where I start to be a bad, and this is where I start to be a bad person. Out All the time, I've been expecting you to live up to my ideals. You were my inspiration. So why were you so bottomed here? Why couldn't you make good view, good videos? How could you wear that silly smile when no one even likes you? Before long, those feelings of admiration and irritation came together in the worst way. I couldn't bring myself to open up to you. And for, before I knew it, this was us. And you see a look on Rebecca's face. Because it's like, if she just had it opened up from initially, it would have just stopped any bad blood that would have happened afterwards. Uh, from La Villa's end. Because obviously Rebecca is just like this frustration and everything. But I don't, she definitely did not have any hatred towards her. It's just that, you know, you're agitated, you're you're annoyed, angered. But hatred, that's not in her vocabulary. I told you I wanted to talk, remember? I wanted to let you, I wanted to let you get it all out. Let you hit me as much as I deserved and then apologize. It was my own way of solving myself. But of course... I don't really think I've earned your forgiveness. Wow. You really don't know how to open up. <laughs> that's why we ended up like this. Man, that's the crazy thing. If you look communication is key in this day and age, man. If you don't have that, you will never be able to get as far as you want to. Especially with the people that you hold near and dear. I don't believe it. My video is what inspired you. Your cat impersonation video. <laughs> it just seemed like the little bubble with the blush and thing. <laughs> I'm sorry too. Sorry I couldn't live up to your expectations. Oh no, you're fine. I wasn't being fair. So you were sick as a kid, but you're okay now, right? It's incurable. Oh no. Oh, Mashima, you can't do that. No, you can't say it's incurable after all that. You can't. No, 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 no. I don't have much time left. Why would you say something like, oh, no, don't worry, oh, I'm retired. I'm just going to retire, don't worry about it, I'm, I'm out the game. No, and then you pull up something like this, and no, she's going to die. What's wrong with you, bro? How would you, oh, why would you do that to me, man? You hit me in the heart as a content creator, and then you do this after on top of it? What is wrong with you? Nah, man, we'll find the cure, we'll find the cure, we'll find the cure, we'll find the cure. We'll find the cure. We'll find the cure. I don't care, we'll find the cure. I used to look on Rebecca's face, but... I'm glad I got to see you one last time because now I have no more regrets. But thank you, my dear Rebecca. I'm sorry for everything. Wait, you can see sister. She's on my ship. The best doctor there is. I appreciate the offer, but I've made peace long with it long ago. You can't give up. I've seen all the best doctors in the cosmos. None of them can find a cure. That doesn't matter. Sister might be able to help to heal you. I don't want to give my hopes up anymore. But I do. Oh, come on, Rebecca. I'm like, what's her, man? What's her? Please let me take you to sister. Oh, let's go. Go. Grand small time. Grand small time. Grand small time. Grand small time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, 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 listen. Rebecca, you know, nah, that's the heroine. That is the heroine right here. That is the goat right here, man. Listen, Shiki is top one. A, Hamura's top one, one B, one C. I don't care, man. They're, they're, they're all, they're all one, top one. They're all top one. Y'all, Rebecca, goat. We've only just taken the first step. 
I want to walk. To, I want to walk together as friends. Oh man, the tears, man. When you go with that hug from behind, man, oh, that's, that's powerful fiction, dude. Friends. Oh that, no, this is a gorgeous. Oh, I love this panel. I love this page just in general, man. Like, oh my god, to think that they actually will have a moment like this. Ma Mashima is that guy, bro. He really is. And she's about to bring on to the ship, isn't she? Oh, no, wait. We're going back to Shiki. This is Shiki on the ba Demon King Battleship in Zero. And, oh, so Holly, Holly ring them up. What do you want? We were just having a beautiful moment with Rebecca and Labilla. What in God's name do you need to say to my MC, man? And this is Holly on the Interstellar Union Army's Battleship Midnight. So, have you made up your mind about my offer? Yeah, we decided we will join you, but on one condition. Until our battle on Lenard is over, you will stay aboard the Eden Zero. They want me under watch. Yeah, because they don't know if she might pull some sly stuff, which is it's a given. Given her position and everything, and the way her personality was shown last chapter. If you can't do that, the deal's off. We'll beat Ziggy, but we have any, we but we won't have anything to do with Crow. I accept your terms. I look forward to working with you, great demon king. Oh, that's the end of the chapter. But like, oh, why would you try listen, man? Look. That was a fantastic chapter. Well, well I look, fantastic chapter. Fan flipping tastic chapter. This stuff with Rebecca and Labilla, and I'm saying this now because again, I can relate to it as a content creator. I know it may be different for those who are viewers or subscribers, all that. But listen, man, that whole thing of Labilla being inspired by Rebecca, but then also having the negativity within her by placing the ideals, by placing these expectations on others to get to that next level. Not realizing, man, like every creator is different in their own way. Some people love to put out videos daily. Some people like to put it out weekly. And then there are those who take their time and they want to make sure that the passion within what they're talking about is present there. It may take more time. It may not be the things that most people want to see. And I can easily relate into Rebecca's stature as a B-Cuber because that's how I feel for a lot of these things. Like when I want to talk about something that's separate from what I normally talk about on this channel... I know for a fact that there's going to be times where it may not do as well. And that's fine because I love talking about greatness. And Eden Zero, implementing that because of B-Cubers, it's gold. But now this whole thing, though, with Abella and the incurable disease, which, again, I feel like we're going to get it. Uh, the cure and everything to take care of her. And it's almost like a given now at this point in time that Labella is going to join the crew. Like, she's going to join. As for what exactly, I mean, she can show that she can fight. In terms of, like, how far does her, like, the depths of her combat go, we don't know. That's going to be seen probably if she joins and comes into the war at Lennar, She might end up having some fights to kind of dictate where she is and what she needs to do to keep growing. But at the same time, if she's, like, a fellow VTuber and stuff connected with Rebecca, and they just have, like, I don't know, like, a collab channel, or, like, she's going to be helping out with trying to get mother and stuff, like, I need it, man. I really, really, really need it. And... For them right now to kind of like just bury things in terms of whatever animosity, whatever problems that they had back then. Like, I need it. Because this right here screams that they're going to be best friends by the end of the story. If, if Labilla ends up being cured of her disease. And if so, Mashima is a good man. But then now this stuff that's going on with Holly and with Shiki, it's like... Obviously, of course, my guy is way more giga brain than he was at the beginning of the series. Beginning of the series, he's like, okay, we'll join and stuff. Don't worry about everything. But no, my guy has determination. He understands situations a lot better, and that's his proposition. You want us to link up and take care of things afterwards? We're going with Ziggy and eventually with Crow. You need to stay on the ship because I cannot trust you if you're doing your own thing on the midnight. I can't trust you if you're on the actual planet itself and you pull some sneak stuff in the midst while we're fighting. So nah, you guys stay over there. Now, a matter of who exactly is going to be there with Holy, because you can't just leave her on alone. Like, the, the, otherwise, the ship's going to be gone. But who stays behind will be interesting.
Because obviously, Shiki's going to want to go see Ziggy. Like, we know that for a fact. He wants to go see him, stomp a mud hole in his grandfather, and then just, you know, figure out what to do from there. But for the case of Holly, it's like, nah, you're going to stay back. You're staying in the in zero, and that's how it is. But who stays? Maybe Vice? Maybe? Who knows? But, no, nah, this was a fantastic chapter. I mean, Season 2 news was already great, but then getting the color page itself, and then now this after, it's like, come on. Come on. Like, Masha was in his bag, 178 chapters in a row, no misses on a CV. Love to see it. But, man, this was awesome. I love everything here of what we got. But now it makes me wonder, like, we have a chapter or two, I would say, maybe left before we actually jump into the Lenar War. If there's anything else that we need to still focus in on, what's going on with Elsie. If there's more on that front, if we're going to get something on Justice. I don't know. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below regarding this week's chapter at the end zero. What did you guys think of what transpired between Labilla and Rebecca? If you are a content creator or even just a subscriber, viewer, and... You read this chapter. What do you feel about all the stuff that Mashma did here? Like, were you able to connect with what was going on with Rebecca and Labilla, and what Labilla was feeling in terms of stagnation, in terms of where she was, go you know, where she was coming from as a content creator, as a BQer, and all that? If you were able to feel everything that Mashma was laying out through her, let me know down in the comments. And then this stuff over here afterwards with uh, Shiki and with Holly. It's like, who, for one, who is she staying with on the in zero to keep track? And does she actually follow through with it? Because obviously she could pull some stuff with the Interstellar. If Justice comes through and she connects with him afterwards, let him know, like, you know, there's going to be problems. Then we'll have to see. But, and then, of course, the most important part. Does Labilla get saved? Does Labilla end up being cured of her disease? And does she have a chance of joining the Eden Zero? Like, does she end up joining the crew of Edens? Let me know down in the comments. Like the video if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of Eden Zero week in, week out, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell to endorse so update with everything goes on the channel. With that being said, I will catch you guys next week for the next chapter. I don't know if it's going to be the last one before we went to Lenard. If we still have a little bit more, I want to keep it around here for now. Let Mashima cook. And then when we go into the actual dining table, we sit down with the food of greatness that is the Lenard War. We'll be feasting. Commodore last signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care.